All right, so Law Dog just got into a game. Let's see Vikings versus Teutons, and uh, oh, I missed. Oh, it's Arena. All right, so this will be interesting. It's happening right now. Instead of him sending me a replay, I thought you know I'd like to play a you know watch a game live. Uh, let's check with Red Player Goej Vab. I'm just gonna call him Red, and I'm just gonna call Law Dog Blue from now on, just because it's it's easier really for my little brain to remember. Yeah, so we got Red playing as the Viking, super strong, eco -Civ, um, super strong on Arena, really, too. I'm just going to move my mic here, hope it's not too loud. Okay, look at his base, his golds are forward, he's got a nice, secure stone in the back. Uh, nothing outside, oh, he does have his, oh, his sheep are outside, this might take him a while to find these ones, actually. But we'll have to see as the game progresses. But yeah, no, Vikings, super strong. Civ with their eco, get great archers, and of course the all always cool, always trendy berserkers. And Lawdog has the Teutons, super strong infantry civ, get great paladins with their conversion resistance. He's got his golds on the side, and this is too bad. This forest here he's gonna have to wall in. Oh man, wait a second. Oh wait a second, is he gonna be able to spot these sheep? Actually, wait. Those are his sheep. Oh man. Wait, where are Red's other sheep? In the back. Oh, they're both there. Who's gonna find them? Where's Red gonna go? He doesn't see his sheep there. Oh, he just saw a second blue scout. Oh no. No. He's gonna get two uh law dogs. Sheep to a blue sheep, it looks like. Oh man, that that is too bad. That is just terrible spawning of your sheep, man. That's and oh my god, where is he gonna go? Idle scout. I'm keeping my eye on this. Oh 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 oh. Oh my god, Did, come on, Law Dog. Yeah. Oh, no, get the other one. Get the other one. Get the other one. Those are your sheep. No. No. What are you doing? Oh, oh man. Go back. Go back. Go back. Get your sheep. Oh boy. Oh, we found that one. Okay, Red just spotted what should be his. Oh, Law Dog took those two. Is he going to protect them? Oh, he will. So, ultimately, actually, this turned out if he gets these two sheep. Oh, but Red housed. Oh. What is he doing? He's badly housed. Oh, what is Red doing? He's focusing on this. He's gonna lose his scout. Oh my god, he's got Loom coming in. He had to get Loom, but he's still housed, and he's going to lose his scout? Oh my god, he lost his scout. That is so bad. Can he go there quick enough to get those sheep? Go, go, go. Oh my god, no. But... <laughs> okay, I'm so, so wait, how many sheep did he... Okay, wait, I don't really remember what happened. I think Red got more sheep there, but let's take a look at the bills. Oh, oh man, getting housed like that and having loom. Now that, that hurts. That's a really bad start for Red. That's too bad there. He's having to go to his sheep here. He's not pushing them in anymore, obviously, because his scout died. Hey, yeah. Lodog's coming to go take his boar, and he's pushing his sheep forward with his scout that's only got 3 HP left. Pushing them to the berry collectors, because... Closer. Oh, man. I, I don't know, that's probably just sheep. You know, just focusing on that might have been kind of funny, but... That was... Mm -hmm. That was intense yeah. to me, I don't know. Those little types okay. of things what make this game so fun. 
He's having some trouble with this deer. But he is pushing it into his berries now. 140 food in each deer. Oh. <laughs> and he's housed again. Oh boy. I think he's a little flustered from that beginning. I mean, he does have feudal coming in. He opts instead to go to fast feudal. Oh, this is just not, not going well for him. Let's switch to Law Dog's perspective here. He's got 20 vills. 21 vills. Oh, so that's a little late. Look, 21, still there. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong. I was just looking at that. I'm stupid. <laughs> 21 to 20. 40% up to feudal for red. Is this the same deer? Is he having difficulty with this deer? It looks like it. But this this will be a clean push. There it is. Some idols. Oh, dude. Okay, they weren't there for that long. I like shift... Uh, I like uh, queuing up different actions for people who are on here, so they're not... Like, watch here, let's see if he shifted up an action. No, see this idle time, they can be going to a tree. I mean, it's milliseconds, but... Still. It all adds up in the long run. Feudal is coming in now for Law Dog. But Feudal is in for Red, and I'm wondering what's his plan. I mean, the only reason that he went up to Feudal was because he was housed so bad. Twice. That one time being housed was just that hurt. He was too focused on the scout battle that was happening here. So, yeah, it is what it is, but you're going to have to make something happen now. You're going to have to use this to your advantage. You're going to have to get maybe some eco upgrades, uh, maybe take some map control. Yeah, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard. The Vikings, of course, getting terrible cavalry. Let's take a look at the tech tree for the Teutons here. So the monk healing range is times two, tower sends garrison two times units, herbal medicine, <laughs> and murder holes free. Uh, but the interesting thing is units resist conversion. That's what I like quite a bit. So that means that your knights, your cavalier, your paladins, they're not going to be getting converted by monks as easily. They don't get husbandry, which makes their cavalry line a lot slower, but they do get bloodlines paladin, and they get fully upgraded on the armor and attack side. Feudal comes in and a stable down for Law Dog right off the bat. Blacksmith coming up for red. Yeah. I'm wondering, let's take a look at the res here. Red doesn't have any wood. He can't put up that second building. Oh, wait a second. Does this switch back and forth? I'm gonna keep my eye on this for a second. Looks like it switched. No, of course it wouldn't. Oh, it did switch. It is switching. Is that supposed to happen? It switched again. Huh. Second building coming up for red there. That's strange. I, I wonder what that is, but we do have castle on the way for Law Dog with his staple. I'm expecting... I don't know, actually, what I'm expecting. Am I expecting... Okay, he's building some scouts. He's probably doesn't have any upgrades on the way yet. Red's getting horse collar. Let's see what he does with these vills. A lot of vills there. Barry's gone. Oh, he had eight vills on Barry's, eh? Yeah, he's in a he's in a pickle right now. Castle is up for him. He's getting a wood chopping upgrade, but he's going to be late to castle. Let's see. Law Dog does have. You know what? We didn't look at the relic positions. What am I doing here? We got one, two, three. Eh, relatively in the middle. This one definitely favors blue. Well, this one definitely favors red. But he's doing a good job getting his visibility here. Let's see what he sees. He's trying to look in. Doesn't see anything yet, but he's he's got nice control of the map here. I'm interested to see what oh, Red's gonna have to do. Red's gonna have to because of that hard beginning and not ideal. 
<laughs> Having to go yeah. fast food. Oh, I don't like this. Yeah. What is that lumber camp? Oh man, yeah, this is 14 on wood, 5 on gold, 8 on food, only 8 on food, and he never found these back sheep. That's interesting. Take a look, monastery up right away, another town center up right away on the gold, and does he see that that's, yeah, I guess he's not too concerned with that, he wants the secondary gold. Castles in for red, double archery range. Hmm. So, he's not putting what wood he has into a monastery right away, he's just planning on hoping to kill. <laughs> planning on hoping. He's hoping to kill some of those monks that are going to be coming out to pick up those relics. Yeah. But this isn't yeah. ideal here, there's going to be a lot of bumping here, look at that. Let's see, it looks like he's maybe trying to move him around, I can't tell. Well, the first monk is out. Looks like he's going to be grabbing this one, which definitely was in Red's favor. But with these scouts here... Yeah, that's going to be... It's going to be one that he's not going to get. He does have the... Fletching. And that monk... Sorry, that, that scout does go down, but one relic already in Maldog's favor. Now, Red does have the score lead now. Villagers are even. Alright, score leads changed again. That... Yeah, okay, that spear will run into the wolf. It will go down, I imagine. Let's see, the crossbows are patrolling around trying to get some more map control. And you know what? Against the scouts, that's going to be pretty easy. Unless, you... oh, you know what? Yeah, against scouts, that's easy against knights with armor upgrades. That's not easy. I'd like to see, yeah, he's got um, the armor upgrade coming in right now, so this is going to be... there it is. 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, and those crossbows will go down. They're focusing on the scout. Don't know. Let's see here. There's a lot of crossbows. He does have Bodkin. Yeah, he doesn't have the armor upgrade. They're just so squishy. They're doing a lot of damage to the knights, but... You know, that, you know, nice micro there. Moving that around, trying to draw the fire. He recognizes it. The knights will go down. But he has got rid of some of the numbers. There's no monastery up for red yet. And he's building a university. Ha! Huh. Ballistics? I suppose. How many relics does he have here? So the second relic's coming in. Villager favor, 48 to 39. Heavily in Lodok's favor. He is on three TCs. Didn't see him put this one up. That's a nice positioning. We'll have to see what Red's answer is here. He did put up the university, he's got the gold mining tech coming in. But there's no military queued up. Oh man, and yeah, they'll just make quick work. Armor upgrade is in, and Lodog is going for scorpions. That's gonna be pretty fun, but he- oh no! You know that those crossbows are there. I mean, you have range on them, I guess. Like they, you'll see them for say they see you. But, uh, stumbling over my words right now. Ballistics coming in for red at the moment. He's just trying. Oh, and you know what? He'll see that dead wolf. He'll see that dead wolf. He'll know that they're there. Oh, and he's trying to look at that. Instead of going straight back, he's trying to be sneaky with it and go around the long way. Hey, yeah. Oh, but is he paying close enough attention? Red sees the monk, he's gonna pick it. Aww, oh, ballistics will be coming in. Yeah, it goes for the conversion, doesn't work. But Red's moving forward with two vills. Is that a misclick, or is he planning on building a forward siege workshop? Maybe a forward monastery? I don't know. I think he might still be expecting knights at the siege workshop. 
Tower. It's in a pretty decent position right now. But that is three relics for Law Dog, which in the long term is definitely going to help him out. Let's see, Scorpions on their way. I just, I love seeing the Scorpions. <laughs> uh, scorpions is probably my favorite scene. Sure? They're just so neat. Oh, but these Delighted. archers are going to stop them from building that house. Are they going to pick off a veil though? Are they going to pick off the veil? Yeah, one veil down. And they're going to attack the house instead of the veil. He's going to have to move back with those. He's going to need something to counter it. But what he's building... He's got a mango on the way. Alright, mango on the way for red. Veil count 67 for Law Dog. To 51 for Goezba. If you take a look at his eco, he's on three now. His farming eco is not too high, but it looks like he's planning on sticking with his archers. So, still only the two archery ranges, and he's building houses. All right, he's trying to get some more visibility on the map. Mango's hiding inside the siege workshop. They'll they will clean up these scorpions if Law Dog isn't careful. Still two relics on the map, and Red isn't even making an effort to secure them. There's no monastery from him yet, even though he has the wood for it. Hey, sir. Two mangoes. The monk has to go back, has to retreat. There's a mango of his own for Law Dogs, so this is going to become a micro battle, however. Yeah, the archers are definitely going to be able to help out. One for one. He did get some damage on the other mango, though. Scorpions come along the side. Has to be very careful with those. And a ram. A ram coming out for red. You know, I gotta be honest. Let's take a look at the Viking tech tree while this goes on. I'm not entirely sure about Viking siege. So, of course, they're an infantry civilization. But they get the longboat, which makes them strong on water as well. They do get Siege Ram, they do get Onager, Heavy Scorpion. No Siege Onager. So, with their eco upgrades, definitely. Oh, and we missed that. I heard it though. Two Scorpions down to the Mango Shot. This is a lot of pressure for Law Dog to have to deal with. He's one for. Oh, no, nice. Bad attack ground from Red there, so. Mango. Mangoes are even at the moment. The ram's gonna have to push back because that mango can batter it down really quickly. Is he gonna get it? Oh no! Bad micro from Law Dog there. Oh, but you know what? I was completely oblivious to something. Law Dog's on his way up to Imp. He's on his way up to Imp, but he's got a lot of pressure on his walls here. He's gonna have to have that Imp move. Do something for him. I mean, oh, and good micro there from Law Dog, able to pick off a mango. Mango numbers are even again. He's going to be able to hit that. No, you know what? He's got to be very careful. Oh, and he chooses to go for the mango. I think that's the right move. Another mango coming forward. Two siege workshops for Red. Two siege workshops for Law Dog. And Red's going to have to retreat here. Just the mango number is too high. Crossbow is way too squishy. And he's deciding to put a castle on the front. Nice positioning, nice defensive. I think maybe... Well, the attack is here, so that's fine. I mean, it is probably where you have to put it. I was thinking where else he could put it to secure his resources. He's putting houses on the side here. I would like to see him mull this off. The gate will go down, but Imp is in, and I'm just wondering what Red's going to do now. Red's not up. And he's not close to going up. He's got a lot of wood, but he's got not much food, not much gold in the bank. He's really committed to this castle bush. More mangoes coming up for him. Log dog. As of yet, what's, what's his plan here? He's trying to get some mango hits, putting up another siege workshop. The gate does go down, but the castle's hitting some of those archers who went in. Right, so again, pressure is alleviated and kind of pushed off a little bit. But I would like to see Law Dog push out here. I mean, he definitely has the scarier 
harm me at the moment. But the three mangoes is dangerous. You have a lot of micro involved if you're gonna do this. Four mangoes for red. Let's take a look at red's base right now. What does he have behind this? He's sending some fills forward onto that gold. Quite a bit on stone. Still not the strongest farming eco, but that's just because he's going pure crossbow at the moment. We took a lick. Oh, he needs up. Red is up to imp. Lotto's got the onager upgrade coming in, and he's going infantry armor, so he's planning on doing some pikes. It looks like he's got the pikes there. I'm wondering what his thought is with that. Just as a meat shield, it's cheap. And he deletes a house so he can get out with his knights. There's still no monks. Those relics are still there. He must see on the map and think, well, okay, Red probably hasn't invested into a monastery. And he's moving back. What kind of upgrades does he have? Still pretty vanilla upgrades on those knights. And they're going to get chewed up from the crossbows if he's not careful. Uh, one knight goes down. I'd like to see a skirm. Uh, I don't know, actually. Skirm probably isn't the answer. Probably Onager is the answer. Onager will take this out so fast. Red's forced retreat. Look at these numbers. The scorpions, the onagers, the pikes. He kills his own army there. The crossbows are taking out. The knights are trying to get some scouting in. Good positioning on them so he can keep his bills on the stone protected. Oh, that was... Oh, man. I'll have my hand over my mouth. That's Every time I see that, it stresses me out. Red's building a defensive castle. Oh, I mean, you know what? That's an offensive castle. It's, it's, but defending his own resources that he's trying to claim in the middle. But those monitors, man, I mean, Imp is almost in. I'd like no siege engineers coming in for blue, so he's going to get that extra range on his onagers. No, don't control group them. Don't control group them. One drops, two drops. That's brutal. So when that's a situation, you don't want to control group. You want to click. So, kind of like uh, that, because if you control group, they're going to rotate around. We see Red's moving around the back with his archers, trying to get some pickoffs. He might assume that he's fully walled here, actually, or just not much along this side. There's a lot on stone from Red. He's planning on dropping a few more castles, it looks like. We have trebuchets coming out for blue. Red's getting conscription in. And was that Arbalist? That was Arbalist. So he's got his arms with his eight range. But these Honagers have nine, so this is a dangerous game that he's playing. Oh, man. Oh, one goes down. All right. I mean, I guess the knight doesn't really... Oh, huge hit. Some of the archers there too. Another huge hit from the onager. Oh, this is this is looking pretty good for Law Dog at the moment. Oh, and just look at all of those corpses. That's a lot of eco down the drain. There's a lot of idols for Red too. He's building a secondary defensive castle, but he's got nothing really to deal with. Oh, huge hit again. Just this extra range. Is he going to try and hit? Yeah, this is when it's... Oh, I thought he was going to get it there for a second. So he did switch into Skirms. I like seeing that. It does go down. But, bad thing for Red, he's got a lot in the back. This castle will drop. A lot of wasted stone. And really, this attack's just going to keep moving forward. Those trebs are going to keep going towards the next castles. Knight's still there. Hopefully he can take... Yeah, one treb down. Two trev down. And it's looking really good for Law Dog at the moment. Castle does go up. He's having to pull everything back. Arbs have nice range. That was that was a little messy right there. I'm sure Law Dog would like to do that differently. Let's take a look. So those relics are still there. He's just left them. Oh that might have been a bad waypoint. He's got nothing to protect, really, at the moment. He's got to be really careful. Because Red's probably... Look, he's got a lot more farming coming up with a lot of idols, but I'm wondering he needs to do a switch. He can't just the arbs. 
like our Bram isn't gonna work at this point. Another castle is going down. Look at all the bells he pulls back to repair. 13 villagers, that's so much idle time. Oh, he's sending some more on gold. Oh, huge hits. The castle goes down. Look at all of these halves. Tanky boys, too. And that's the game. Alright, red calls that game. That was good. A lot of early pressure, but he just couldn't back it up once Ladog, you know, got out to Imp and pushed back. Yeah, KD. Nice KD there. Economy heavily in Ladog's favor. Yeah, villager high too. Look at that relic gold. I mean, that's the difference it makes. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed. Subscribe and keep playing AoE.